Hello everyone, this is Miss Julia. I'm the Youth Services Librarian here at the Collierville Birch Library. And we're here today with another virtual crafternoon. Uh, we're going to be making this rabbit out of a cup. And it actually will hop uh, when you press it against a second cup. I'll show you that at the end though. So for this craft, you're going to be needing two plastic cups. It's okay if they don't match in color. Uh, two rubber bands some sharpies or markers to draw on the face, construction paper for the ears, scissors, a pencil, and some glue. So to begin with, we're gonna take one of our plastic cups, whatever cup we want the actual rabbit to become, and we're gonna cut slits at the bottom at the four cardinal locations, so the front, back, and the two sides here. Uh, this is where we're gonna be putting the rubber bands so that our little rabbit will hop. So we're just gonna cut around here. I would suggest making shallower cuts because we want the rubber bands being more towards the, the bottom of the cup when we lace them through. That way it'll hop better. So when you have your cuts done, you're gonna take one of your rubber band and you're actually going to cut it too. So now you have a nice elastic strand and you're gonna tie a knot at one end. I'm gonna tie it twice just to make sure the knot is big enough. Just like so. And making sure that your knot is on the outside of the cup, you're going to slip the rubber band into one of your slits. Just like that. And then you're gonna stretch it across to the opposite side and slide it in as well. And you're gonna make another knot so that the rubber band stays. And you'll do this again, stretching the other way as well. And there we go, we have our crisscross of rubber bands. If you wanna cut off the access rubber band, you're welcome to, but it's not necessary. Uh, next off, I'm gonna draw the face on my little rabbit. So I'm gonna take one of my Sharpie markers and I'm gonna make two little eyes. And then I'll take a red marker or whatever color you decide to make the lovely little nose. And we'll give him a little smile. Maybe some buck teeth and a couple of whiskers. So we have our little happy bunny face. Next, we're gonna be doing the ears. So you're gonna take a piece of construction paper, uh, whatever color you want for the ears, and you're gonna draw your shape. Uh, I'm gonna use a pencil. Of course, ears have nice, I'm sorry, rabbits rather, have nice long ears. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little wider. As I always say, it's much better to make things bigger than you want. You can always cut it shorter. Uh, so once you have your basic shape, you're going to cut it out. And now I have my construction paper folded in half. That way my ears will be the same size and shape. And at this stage, if you want to look, kind of compare it to your rabbit, see if that's a good length for you. I think that's a pretty good length. So then I'm going to cut my ears apart so we have two ears instead of one. And then you're gonna fold a little edge at the bottom, and that way you can actually glue it onto the top of your rabbit. We're gonna take our glue, and hopefully it'll come out. This is always the problem. We got that lovely clog on there, so clear that clog. And you're gonna take some glue, and you're just gonna attach it to the top of your rabbit. Let me push you up a little bit more so you can kind of see it better. There we go. And if you wanted to as well, you could take your marker to make little marks on the inside of the ear so it looks like he has nice pink ears on the inside. Of course, since we're using white glue, it will take a little while for it to dry. So once you have both ears on, you'll have to set them aside. Get this guy on. Just like so. And that'll be your rabbit. 
So like I said, I'm gonna set them aside so he can dry, but I'm gonna show you how he works with my completed one. So with your second cup, you're just going to lightly press your rabbit on the top, and off he pops. Let me adjust it too, so you can see a bit better. I find it's easier to hold it towards the bottom rather than towards the top. He hops a little better that way. So we're just gonna pop, and pop. And there you go, you have your hopping rabbit just in time for Easter. I hope you all enjoyed this lovely little craft today. Be sure to tune in next week for another virtual craft afternoon. Hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.